viewers, how are you? Uh, welcome to the Social Distance uh, Live program from Japan. I'm your host, Omaya Mughal, and I'm going to uh, speak a different issue that, uh, as you know, that uh, the Prime Minister of Abe has uh, declared the emergency all around the Japan. And a lot of the Pakistanis are living in Japan and they have a lot of problems uh, and even the business problems, social problems. And this time, you know, I would like to ask to uh, request it to the Embassy of Pakistan, His Excellency, Mr. Imtiaz Ahmed, to please join us. And I would like to invite him. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, happy happy Ramzan. Ramzan, sir. Happy Ramzan. How are you, sir? What is your situation now in Embassy? I'm fine. Well, first of all, I, I will ask your your fa your family and your personal things. What, what is happening in your embassy now? Uh, we are okay with the blessing of God. And we are in the embassy. We are continuing uh, to work to serve our people. I see. So, sir, I think uh, I have to prepare some, you know, very uh, special question for you. So, step by step, I would like to read it, and I think if you can answer me. Uh, first of all, you know, uh, due to the involving situation in the wake of uh, uh, COVID-19, coronavirus, what precautionary steps have been taken by embassy? Are there any guidelines for advisory issue for the people visiting in embassy for various consular matters? Please. Yes, as you mentioned uh, in the beginning, that the emergency has been extended to the uh, to the whole of Japan. So accordingly, we have also taken many measures in order to comply with the, the instructions of social distancing. Uh, we have stopped uh, uh, holding functions in embassy hall, and secondly, we have advised our nationals for their own security not to visit the uh, embassy of Pakistan except in uh, exceptional uh, uh, circumstances. Otherwise, we can extend services to them via post, via email, via telephone, or by fax. And also, we have uh, uh, given our contact numbers on the embassy website so that they can contact us. And off and on, we are also putting important information on the embassy I see. Okay, thank you, sir. So, sir, my second question is: the, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, has urged the overseas Pakistani for donation each toward government's effort to combat COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Any significant contribution from Pakistani in Japan or in this regard? You know that uh, Pakistan in Japan they have been really affected by uh, this coronavirus. Uh, crisis, the business has been affected, but even then our people, they are uh, contributing generously, they are sending money through a banking channel uh, to the uh, for donation uh, to the affected of coronavirus. And similarly, I would like to I mean, uh, mention here uh, one Pakistani, Mr. Asad Nawaz, who has uh, con uh, contributed, gifted uh, a large quantity of medical equipment, including ventilator, photo scan machine, ECG, and we have sent a big uh, 40 foot container uh, having those uh, medical equipment to Pakistan, which will help a lot in the treatment of uh, our uh, patient. We are really grateful to Mr. Sunwar for his uh, generous contribution. Uh, for this gift of uh, uh, equipment worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Similarly, other Pakistani, they are also contributing. We are in touch with them and we would be sending more goods to Pakistan. Wow, thank you very much, sir. So, sir, another question. I'm step by step going to uh, read it. The, the suspicions of the air flights, uh, you know, operation in Pakistan left many Pakistanis stranded in many countries. How many Pakistani were stranded here in Japan and effort of the facility and the send them back to Pakistan? What is the embassy has been doing, sir, please? You know that the flights were uh, suspended all of a sudden mm. and there were several Pakistanis who were on visa to Japan or who mm. came here for business purpose mm. and suddenly they were stranded and uh, then there were some uh, students also which had finished their course and wanted to go back. So they were contacted, contacting us, they wanted to go back and it was uh, really a big issue. So what we did, we contacted our authorities in Pakistan. I was in touch with Chairman PIA 
and all of the relevant ministries and I uh, told them that uh, uh, I requested them that we have to do something for these stranded Pakistanis and we were uh, finally able to manage a special flight so we I mean contacted all those people asked them uh, guided them advised them and uh, uh, with the blessing of God we were able to send them to Pakistan. Uh, uh, they were about 50 people uh, who were sent by special flight to Pakistan. Wow, wow, 50 people. So I think your embassy is doing very good. So, sir, another question I would like to ask that uh, Pakistan is being helping by uh, various friendly countries and uh, financial institute to combat COVID-19. What is the quantum of assistance offered by the Japanese government in this regard, sir? The government of Japan has extended the system to Pakistan to uh, fight against uh, coronavirus and uh, we are really grateful to the government of Japan. First of all, in February, we were able to get some, uh, I mean, uh, testing kits from Japan and I sent my third secretary along with those kits wow. to Pakistan. He carried it with him uh, to Pakistan and then Japan helped us through various uh, uh, United Nations organization like uh, Japan provided us 2.1 million dollars through UNICEF then uh, Japan provided us 540 thousand dollars through international organization of migration and then we got assistance of 250 thousand uh, dollars through uh, International Federation of Red Cross and uh, Red Crescent and recently Japan has also provided us uh, uh, one million dollar through UNHCR. So all these, uh, I mean, uh, assistance will help in our fight against coronavirus and we are really grateful to the government. Oh, wow, well, great. We have to be very thankful to the Japanese government. I think every time in the when we are suffering, uh, Japan is helping us too much. So, sir, well, finally, uh, your, uh, I, I will ask you, what would you be your message in the current situation to the Pakistani community here in Japan? <laughs> Uh, really very very uh, difficult situation in Japan uh, our businessmen our uh, Pakistani people who are living and doing work in Japan they are facing a lot of financial problems the business has uh, been uh, affected a lot so we pray for the, uh, their safety and uh, we pray that uh, the situation become normal so that they can uh, <coughs> concentrate on their business. And we are here in the embassy to help them whatever way we can. And my message to Pakistan community will be that as the government of Japan has extended emergency towards Japan, so we will, we should, all of us, uh, all those Pakistani living in Japan, they should comply with the instruction of the government of uh, Japan. We should try, I mean, uh, uh, to keep the social distance and as well as uh, uh, stay uh, at home as much as possible so that we uh, are able to correctly uh, protect ourselves uh, against coronavirus. I see. Thank you very much, sir. So, viewers, here was uh, uh, His Excellency Ambassador of Pakistan, Imtiaz Amisad, with us. So, I think you like his message, you like his uh, greeting, and I hope uh, to see you again, sir, in Embassy. I think uh, as soon as we can survive this situation, we can make some party again in the Embassy. So, we pray to get together, all Pakistani, and meet you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.